Is flossing with string really necessary? Let's talk about three possible flossing alternatives. Hi, my name is Whitney and I'm a dental hygienist here to talk about flossing alternatives. And before we get started, make sure to get my free oral care guide. Click the link in the description below or in the pinned comment to join thousands who have already discovered all of the essential components for an effective oral hygiene routine. This guide is an action plan for preventing and maintaining a happier and healthier smile. I made it just for you for it can also help you stay on routine and use proper techniques for brushing, flossing, and cleaning between your teeth with water floss interdental brushes, and floss picks. And having said all of that, for today's video, let's talk about flossing alternatives. So we know that cleaning between your teeth is super important. Bacteria thrive in those crevices, and lots of people tend to get cavities between their teeth. And gum disease often starts in between the teeth because in between the teeth is one of the most neglected areas when caring for your teeth at home. So to clean those spots properly, of course, flossing is a great idea. However, However, you don't have to use traditional string floss. Technically, there are three other additional ways to clean between your teeth other than using the traditional string floss. Floss picks are a thing, not my favorite, but if you don't floss and now you use a floss pick, then I'm so happy because it's better than nothing, right? We'll talk more about those in a second. There's also interdental brushes, super great for everyone. Unfortunately, it seems like most people don't even know these exist, but they are awesome once you find the right size for you. And like Lastly, there's water flossers. Lots of people have heard of these, but they don't always know exactly who or why some people benefit more from using these. So how do you know which one would work best for you? My best advice, and truly take this advice, please ask your dental hygienist and or your dentist for their recommendation regarding your individual mouth. The reason all of these options exist is not only for patient compliance, right? They weren't made just to find something different than string floss. They were made to benefit certain mouths for specific reasons. Let me explain, starting with floss picks. Although lots of people might like to use these because they are quicker than traditional string floss, that's not why they exist. They are here for the patients who may have manual dexterity issues, such as special needs populations, elderly patients, and anyone who has a hard time fitting their fingers in their mouth. They are also great for kids who are still learning how to do things, who can't properly hold and use string floss yet, or for parents to use on their kids at home. Are floss picks my first pick? <laughs> Pun intended. No, they are not my first pick for cleaning between your teeth. Regular traditional string floss is my first pick, but only if you can use it right. And having said that, lots of people don't or can't use the proper technique when flossing with traditional string floss, or they don't floss at all. In these cases, if you like floss picks and that's the only way you're going to clean between your teeth, then something is better than nothing. So please, please, please go for it. And if you want to do the best thing ever, you can actually combine using floss picks and a water flosser. Doing both of those is arguably maybe even more optimal than using string floss alone. So speaking of water flossers, who benefits the most from using these? Again, always ask your dentist and or dental hygienist if this would be something that they think would be good for you or not. But some people may benefit from it more than others, such as people with gingivitis, any type of gum or gingival issues, bleeding gums, inflamed gums, or those with braces or implants. Those are just some examples of people who tend to benefit a lot from water flossers, but I personally use a water flosser and I don't have any of those things going on in my mouth. I use it a couple times a week as well. Like I said, I'm a daily traditional string flosser, but whenever I eat, say, a big salad or something, I love water flossing at the end of the day on top of string flossing because you can physically see all of the food debris rinse out from your mouth, especially my molars. For whatever reason, lettuce loves to get caught back there. So a water flosser provides a great great water lavage to remove all of that debris from my teeth and it's so satisfying to watch. And of course, it's really great for your gum health. It's great at stimulating your gum tissues. Another option is interdental aids, sometimes called proxy brushes, sometimes called interproximal brushes or proxa brushes, in-betweeners, whatever you want to call them. They look like this, little brushes that go between your teeth. There's lots of great dental research proving the efficacy of these and if you use them correctly, which 
a huge part of using them correctly is finding the correct size to fit between your teeth. They can really keep your gums and teeth healthy. I have a video that explains more about how to use them and how to fit them, which I will link in the description box if you want to learn more. I personally love using these in addition to traditional string floss on my lower front teeth because I tend to get more plaque buildup there. So I feel like it really keeps those areas clean. It's like an extra step that really gets in there. Now, again, I can't stress enough to always ask your dental provider what they recommend for you to use. There's no reason to be arguing in the comments section of this video. Well, my dentist told me this is best, but my dentist told me those aren't as good and I should use these, blah, 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 blah. No, dentistry is not a one size fits all. A dental hygiene tool that works for you might not work for everyone else. So be sure to always ask your individual dental provider about your individual mouth. I love string floss and I believe if you can properly string floss, then you should properly string floss, but it's not for everyone. Some patients may benefit more from interdental aids. Some may benefit more from water flossing. Please hear me when I say that. I genuinely make these videos to help people and I feel that that statement, asking you to ask your dentist and or dental hygienist for their recommendation regarding your individual mouth is the most helpful statement I can give you. And until your next dental appointment, if you want to learn more about the different techniques for all of these flossing alternatives, I will of course link my videos in the description box below. Also, if you're interested in creating the most perfect routine to prevent major dental issues that lead to costly dental visits, make sure to click the link in the description or in the pinned comment below to sign up for my free oral care guide and join thousands who have already discovered all of the essentials for an effective oral hygiene routine. This guide is an action plan for preventing and maintaining a happier and healthier smile. And I hope this video helped you. Please like, subscribe, and turn on the notifications if it did. And if you want even more teeth talk, you can visit my website teethtalkgirl.com and hang out with me on Instagram at teeth talk girl. Peace, love, and teeth.